Oh my God, that is shocking. The, the, the great thing about this witness is that she's very confident. She's very calm. They literally don't know the case at all. Do they? Okay, so mom, I just want you to react to Dr. Stephen Curry yeah. uh, as Johnny Depp's witness in the Amber Heard trial. Sure, yeah, I haven't seen any of this, so. Yes, and he was serving dinner and drinks. He correct. was not serving dinner and well, drinks. Well, it was at his house at his behest, correct? Yes, it was at his house. Okay, and at that time, you not only knew Johnny Depp, you'd see. What, what I would say just there is she's being cross-examined, so therefore it's, Amber Heard's barrister that's cross-examining her and she doesn't know her own case because she just said, oh, was he serving dinner and drinks? And she said, no, he wasn't doing that at all. So straight away, if I was sitting as the judge or even in the jury there, you'd be thinking, oh, what else have they got? Seen a number of his TV and movie roles and you believed he was a good actor, correct? Not correct. I did not know Johnny Depp. Well, I had you seen knew several of, of his movies. You knew who he was? Yes. And then you provided an expert designation in this case before ever seeing Amber or having an opportunity to review any documents or records. Isn't that correct? I did not provide an expert designation. That's... Oh my God, that is shocking. They literally don't know the case at all, do they? It's an attorney thing. The first of those is that Amber Heard, quote, exhibits patterns of behavior that are consistent with co-occurring cluster B personality disorder traits, especially borderline personality disorder. Did I get that right? I'm reading that here. That is not my opinion. Okay. Well, but did I get that right? Never ever under cross-examination. Do you, do you say, did I get that right? I mean, put the question to her, make the assertion, it's just actually, but it's, it's a current opinion but this was not an opinion of mine then i didn't have any opinions at that time so it's a coincidence that you now think she has those attributes after the attorneys listed it in february 2021 before you'd looked at anything my opinions aren't uh, based on it, coincidence uh, it's objection okay. i'm sorry dr okay. Okay. yes compound i'll sustain the objection all right so it's a leading question which is fine in cross-examination you know she's putting to her that you know this happened because she was taunting johnny depp and that's what you do in cross-examination is you do lead the witness because you want to be able to persuade the jury or the judge in this case that actually what your client's saying what their version of events is is true um the, the, the great thing about this witness is that she's very confident, she's very calm, she's clearly a professional, um, and she knows exactly what she said, what she's written. In America, they can prep witnesses. So Johnny Depp's team have spent potentially some time with her. We're not allowed to do that here in the UK. His team would have spent some time with her. She's an exceptionally good witness, she really is. When you said you're allowed to lead the witness, but can't you object? To leading the witness. Which is what's happened. Right. So the, the, I think the other side objected. I, I missed why he objected because he wasn't very sort clear. of full. Yeah, it wasn't clear. I don't know if it was on, on a relevance point, you know, is that relevant to, to the case in hand um, or potentially, you know, I, I don't know. I missed it. But the, the objection was sustained. Mm -hmm. So. What I can tell you is my opinions are based on the results of my evaluation. Now, would you agree that a disproportionate number of women are tagged with a diagnosis of borderline personality disorder? No, that's not quite right. And trauma can cause borderline personality disorders, can't it? No. Now you. So what you don't want to do when you're cross-examining somebody is ask a question that where the answer could potentially damage your case. So it's true, isn't it, that this could be the... When you're, when you're thinking about asking those questions, when you're prepping your cross-examination, you want to be able to ask the question that actually we're only going to get one possible answer to. She just said, no, that's not true. And then she went and asked the second question and it was like, no, that's not true. Now, if this was a lay witness, you know, just a witness to the event, that would be one thing. It's still damaging, but she's a professional. She so she about. knows exactly what she's talking about. Why would you ask those questions? Do the research yourself, even though you're clearly a criminal barrister. Do the research yourself to see if the answer to that question could be no.
I feel for Amber because she's probably paying Casquillians for this lady. Do you know but, what I mean? But does it not come to, to say that potentially they're trying to find straws when there's just nothing there to find? I disagree because I think every case deserves its defence. Every single case. And you can make a solid defence if you have a good legal team. Do you know what I mean? And, and to give you an example, let's take potentially a murder case, you know, here in the UK, or, you know, the real serious, like a rape case, very serious. The defence team will always make out a good case, won't they? They'll always make out a solid case here so that the jury are then left with, did they, didn't they? Do you know what I mean? This, this is really not making out a case at all. So it's not impossible to develop a good case. It all comes down to the questions. And these questions are, haven't been considered, I would say, or suggest. Serve as an expert with respect to whether someone has a bipolar disorder. Is that correct? A bipolar disorder? Yes. That's not correct. Okay. Ms. Hurd repeatedly and characterologically perpetuated severe physical and psychological intimate partner violence, IPV, toward Mr. Depp over the course of their relationship. End of quote. Did I read that correctly? Uh, it says perpetrated, but other than that, yes. Was it Ms. Heard exhibits patterns of behavior that suggest... You know, the fact that she's actually reading now from this witness's statement and she can't even, she can't even read it properly. That's <laughs> <laughs> just like, sit down. If I was Amber Heard's solicitor, I'd be like, get her down. Let's just ask for a break. Let's just get her out of the courtroom. Do they have more than one solicitor then? Yeah, I mean, in America, especially when it's high profile like this, they'll generally have a team. Right. So you might have, you know, the main solicitor and lots of junior solicitors who are doing all the paperwork and scrubbing about in the background. And you might even have one or two counsel. Because big cases, you'll split the case up into different segments. And perhaps a barrister will take this segment and a barrister will take that segment. And again, if it's running for days and days, you would want to have more than one because if you've only got one barrister or counsel in this case, they're going to get tired, you know? Mr. Depp are false, end of quote. Do you see that? I see that. You said it's my third opinion. That is not my opinion. All right. But in this pleading, it says that you will testify to that, correct? Yes, that's what this says. Okay. And that was not your opinion in February 2021, was it? No, as I said... I had not formed any opinions at that time. I had just been retained. And you answered at that time, no, correct? That is correct. And then I asked, have you ever arrived at that opinion in the time that you have served as an expert witness in this case? And your answer was, could you read that to the jury, please? Yes. Um, so no, it's not the task I was cut off, or I, Essentially, what I, re I, what I said then was, no, Dr. that's Curry. not the task okay. of DASH. That was never my task to determine. Can I say what that means? No. And then okay. the question is, so is it fair? <laughs> but why? Why would you say no to that? Yeah. Can I explain what that means? No, no, don't do that. Because actually, I'm doing a good enough job here wrecking this case on my own <laughs> without allowing you to give another explanation. No. Again, you'd say absolutely, yeah. Because you, you, what you want to convey is that, yeah, you know, we're yeah, all open yeah. here. It's all transparent. Say what you mean. Yeah. You have never arrived at an opinion that, quote, now you also have never been asked to testify on whether an individual is being truthful in saying that they are a survivor of IPV. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. And you have never qualified as an expert to speak to whether a person suffered from IPV, intimate partner violence, or was a victim or survivor of IPV. Is that correct? That's outside the task of a psychologist to determine whether an event occurred. We assess behavior. We, we assess mental status. We don't detect crimes. So you have not been asked to testify to that, correct? It's not something that occurs, so no, I have not. I asked a different question. Are you trying to resist that you didn't have dinner with Mr. Depp and drinks? I'm not trying to resist that, but it's not quite right. You did have dinner with Mr. Depp, did you not? I did. With and his you had legal drinks team with and Mr. Mr. Depp. Depp, did you not? And what? You had drinks with Mr. Depp, did you not? Drinks were served. I This was over two years ago. I may have had a drink with dinner, yes. And you didn't disclose that you had met with Mr. Depp, Mr. Waldman, Mr. Chu, and Ms. Vasquez at Mr. Depp's house for three to four hours and had dinner and drinks, correct? I did not disclose that. It's not significant to the report. 
you don't think that's significant, correct? I don't. So as a psychologist, she's been asked to report on the impact, the psychological impact of what they're calling IPV, intimate partner violence, or I think, I think that's what she referred to it as. That's, that's not a term that I've heard in the UK. Where the witness is going with that is, well, how is that relevant? The fact that I went for dinner with him and his legal team, it doesn't really matter. That's not relevant because her job isn't to cross-examine or, or to be his solicitor. Her job is to actually assess the mental effect that this potential IPV had. Yeah. So again, why are they badgering her about dinner? Did you have a drink? Why didn't you disclose it? None of it's relevant, is it? How is that going to impair her judgment as a psychologist about a mental review? Mm -hmm. Heard is right and Mr. Depp is wrong, correct? So as a forensic psychologist, my obligation is to the court, is to the fact finder. I present science regardless of what that science may be. Now, when I take a case, my retainer agreement is explicit about that and I D discuss Dr. that Curry, with I'm the attorneys. Asking you, I'm asking you a question. I'd like to try to answer your okay. question. You understand that if you found favorably to Ms. Hurd and negatively to Mr. Depp, you wouldn't be here, right? You wouldn't be testifying. Objection speculation. No, I, okay, sorry. Hold on. The objection is speculation. I, I, that's, that's not speculation. No, I'll sustain the objection if you want to ask. Okay. If, She's hesitating now because she wants to rephrase, even though the objection has been sustained. So she's able to ask a question. Mm -hmm. The other side objected because what they were saying is that's speculation. The question was, had you found in favour of Miss Heard, then you would not have been called as a witness to testify against Miss Heard because she's Johnny Depp's um, witness. Well, that's obvious. But... What, they're tr what I think where she's trying to go with it is that, and because of that, you then found against Miss Heard, and you found that, right. you know, I mean, I, I don't know, I haven't seen the report or anything, or even heard what, what's in the report, um, but she's Johnny Depp's witness. Now, again, what relevance is that? If you're, if you're retained as a psychologist to do a report, you do the report. You don't do the report because you want to testify in court. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe you do, because it's Johnny Depp. Yeah. But I find that difficult to believe because she's a professional.